Can anybody hear me okay? I'm, I'm actually not looking at notes. I'm doing social media. <laughs> it all begins with wonder. Did you notice what just happened? I merely said, it all begins with wonder. And I paused, and you probably started wondering. Is he going to talk again? <laughs> you see what I mean? It all begins with wonder. You first heard about this event, you began to wonder. You wondered about it. And from that wondering became thoughts. You began to think about it. And those thoughts brought up feelings. Maybe one of them was passion. And from those feelings, you made choices. And those choices became actions. And those actions brought you here, wondering today. Thank you all for wandering in. <laughs> Happy that you made it. So when we think about wondering, there's two ways we can wonder about things. We can wonder intentionally, or we can wonder by default. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, if you can imagine, um, let's, let's talk about a sailboat, a sailboat out on the sea. Um, a sailboat um, has a sail, has a rudder. So if, if we are wondering intentionally, I'm wondering if the, the, the meter is on. I'll be here all day. <laughs> okay. I, uh, so if we're wondering intentionally, we're like the sailboat that has a sail set. It's got the rudder in, in the water, got the steering wheel going. We have a destination. We have our eyes on the destination. And maybe we're wondering whether we're going to get there or not. But we're wondering. By, this is intentional wondering. Now, Default wondering is a little bit different. And default wondering is like that sailboat. If you take the sails and you fold them up and you tie them down and you take the water, the rudder out of the water, take your hands off the steering wheel. So if on, on the sea of humanity, which we are, we're all part of the sea of humanity, there are four major winds that disturb the sea of humanity. And it's interesting that the, there's the social wind. You might say that's the wind that kind of pushes people into, into groups or not. You have the economic wind. Now, the economic wind can destroy or create interest. You've got the political wind. Well, that one might be the one that's got the most hot air in it. <laughs> and the military wind. Some of you might be old enough to remember when we had, in the United States, we had something called the draft. How, how interesting they would name it that. So, if we're living our life by intentional wondering or default wondering, we are like that sailboat. But the winds are there. They're going to blow. They always have. They always will, as long as there's a social family of man. The idea here is that if I am sailing by, if I'm wondering, if I have a destination, I'm wondering about getting that destination. I'm setting my sails, and I'm actually able to sail into the wind and go from here to there. So it doesn't really matter so much about where the wind is blowing or what's going on. If I have my intentions and I'm wondering about where I'm going, those wonderings are going to be bringing up in me ideas, thoughts. Those thoughts are going to be bringing up in me feelings, perhaps passion, perhaps despair. It's our choice. We make those choices. So we're choosing how to wonder. Our wondering is based on a couple of perceptions, various perceptions. And sometimes we're aware of those perceptions, and sometimes we're not. It all begins with wonder. Here's a perception for you. Can everybody see the building? Just real quick, just throw out some numbers. How far away, some of you might be engineers, and you might be golfers, and you can tell these things. How far away is the building from here? 500 yards, that's a good one. Give me another one. Some 
Excellent, excellent. I don't know. That's a pretty good one. Anybody want to go for another one? <laughs> okay, well, the idea is this is a perception. In reality, another reality, I'll propose another reality to you. The building is only as far away as the distance is between your eyes and the surface of the screen. How about that? So now you're aware of two completely different but related realities or perceptions of reality. So when you begin to wonder, you're going to be wondering from a certain set of perceptions. Let's take an elephant. Most of you know what an elephant is. Have you ever seen an elephant staked out? They have a chain around its ankle and it's staked out to a stake. When the elephant is a child, a little bitty baby elephant, it can't overcome the chain and the stake. It pulls and pulls and pulls until it's convinced it can't overcome it, so it quits pulling. It quits trying to resist its perception of reality. It grows big enough to move a house, but never tries to overcome its own perception of reality. I encourage you to wonder. It all begins with wonder. Now, great minds throughout history have wondered and when their wonderings, their, and their wonderings became thoughts, and their thoughts became the feelings, and those feelings became choices, those choices became actions, those actions become results, and they changed their circumstances and changed their environment. Margaret Knight, Margaret Knight, I don't know if any, does anybody in here know Margaret Knight? Margaret Knight lived in the early 1800s. As a young lady, she found herself working in a paper factory. Now, in this paper factory, they were making various products, and one of the products were paper sacks. Now, this was a time when paper sacks were much like envelopes. She began to wonder about that. Now, she, her wondering brought up ideas and feelings, and she got a passion about something, and she designed a machine that could cut and fold paper bags with flat bottoms. And so, oops, 130 some odd years later, we're still enjoying the changes she made simply by wondering about a bag. The Wright brothers wondered about flight, human flight. And look what we have today. We can travel around the world without touching the ground. Amelia Earhart wondered what it would be like to be the first woman to fly around the world. It all begins with wonder. So these great minds thought about things and they changed their environment and they changed it and we enjoy all of that. Are they any different from you and I? Are they? We all wake up every day wondering. Some of us might be wondering, oh, wow, am I going to get yelled at again today? Whew, am I going to lose my job? Am I going to get a job? Or we can be wondering like, oh, wow, wow, I got a chance to do something different today. I can hold my shoulders back, I can take in a deep breath of air, and I could change something today. Maybe it's only the way I think about something. Oh, but thoughts, that, that, that means I, I get choices and I can make choices. And those choices can change my environment and change my circumstances. When I was a child, a very, very small child, my mother picked up a pencil and a piece of paper and a comic book and she drew a picture of Mickey Mouse. I, I wondered, how did she do that? And then I wondered, I wonder if I could do that. Well, she showed me how, and sure enough, I could. Wow. And then that wonder led to something else, and then that wonder led to something else. And, and so here I am a, a, a few decades from that point, and I've been through some really cr incredible events in my life, three near-death experiences, two divorces. Does that count as five near-death experiences? <laughs> But here I am a few decades later, and I enjoy abstract life transformational artwork hanging in eight countries across the world, some of which I've never even gotten to visit yet. It all begins with wonder. Wonder. So I'd like to, I'd like to just ask you all to do something with me. Let's all just stand up right there where you are. You don't have to take up a lot of room. All I want you to do is just kind of put your... Put your feet under your shoulders here. Get yourself stable. All right. All right. Shoulders back. Ah, 
Take in a couple of deep breaths. Yes. Okay. Now, let's do this. Get your hands like this and just kind of go up here like this and look out there and go, I wonder, I wonder. Can, I? can I? Yes, you can. <laughs> Thank you.